I'm Rory Schlein, an Australian international speedway rider. Three months ago, I su suffered a spinal injury, two fractures, a shattered vertebrae, and I've had two rods and eight screws inserted into my back. This video's a kickstand to, to get me back where I want to be, and that's racing a motorbike. day today so um, you know it's first meeting here at uh, Kingsland Speedway and um, I'm very anxious very nervous but uh, all this uh, hard work that we've put in over the past four four or five months uh, has finally paid off so um, you know from when we started filming to where we are today it was uh, felt like a bit of a pipe dream but um, here we are you know the bikes are here we're about to warm up soon and and uh, get into it Obviously today is the fir first meeting in, um, uh, in England. Uh, it's a charity, charity event which is uh, for disabled riders um, and uh, all the proceeds go to the riders that um, unfortunately, you know, who, who sort of lost their careers due to injury. So um, it, it means a lot to a lot of riders here. For, you know, friends of mine obviously have, have obviously had injuries that they've had to pass away, as you know. And, uh, you know, and, and it's a, a nice easy way to get back into it because a lot of the guys are just using it just to, um, you know, get up to speed and, um, you know, everyone doesn't take it as seriously as a normal league fixture. So, um, so it's a nice and easy one to get back into, but still uh, first competitive one here. The event's more symbolic now, I think, for me because of obviously what happened to myself, you know, friends. Um, it, uh, it, a bit of a reminder, you know, more respect for what we do. and. Um, you know, for them, for those who are less fortunate and um, you know sacrifice their careers, you know, to entertain you know fans, like race fans all over the world, and um, yeah, so the meeting probably means a lot more now uh, to me um, in, in my own way. Psychologically, this is the hardest I've ever uh, ever had to work at. Um, didn't sleep a wink last night. Um, just knowing we, we're going out there doing what we, what we used to, well, what we normally do, um, but obviously knowing the risk is how bad it can get. So, just it's it's just a completely different way I've had to approach the whole whole setup and, and process of getting into the uh, into the season. And um, no, that's been the tougher side, not the physical side, not the riding side, just the me mental state of, of trying to get your head right to know that. Um, you got to be out there doing it uh, competitively. I, I think I said it before. Um, 
you know, demons is is probably the main thing I've had to. Yeah, there's pain. Um, you know, there's been trying to get fit, but uh, nothing will compare to what the the mental battles I've had to deal with um, even since Darcy's crash. So it's um, it's just been a long, long, long haul. But we're here, so I just want to get it on and get it over and done with. The, the old the old saying is, you know, never give up. Uh, it's true, true in any form, any form of life. Um, but I say, if you want something bad enough, um, if you love something that much and and want it, you put your mind to it. You got to make a lot of sacrifices. Some people probably don't want you to do certain things, or you know, persist. You know, something that that could. That could end your career or maybe even end your life. But if it's something, like I said, something you love, you go and do it. My whole family, um, my mum, my dad, my fiance, my kids, my brother, sister, father-in-law, mother-in-law, they, they've all been supportive. They, they know what I want. I told them when I, when I decided when I wanted to come back and where I am here now, they said, well, that's your decision. Um, and they have supported me all the way. They've, they've obviously wanted to make sure I'm okay, but um, they have never stood in my way of what I wanted to do, and they, they never will. Um, they've supported me through the, the good times, and obviously in the dark times, obviously, which we, which we have done. Um, and like I said, never give up. And if you want something bad enough, you can get it. Today's meeting at the Ben Fund will be a major hurdle for him, and once he gets past that, there will just be major steps forward for him, I believe, because of his mental strength. I don't think he's out there to win today, if I'm totally honest. He's out there to get through the meeting, and if he wins a race or two, that's a great result compared to what he's been through. He's, to go through that kind of trauma, you, you can't be putting too much expectations on yourself. It's different practicing, but when you line up at the tapes with four riders next to each other, going into that first bend side by side, that's, I think, what Rory is focusing on today and getting past. People say in Speedway it's 80% in the mind and 20% in the body. Um, like most sports, it's a confident sport and you've got to be confident not just in your ability but the strength and your fitness and to hold on to that bike. No brakes, obviously, so it's not as if you could just put the brakes on and stop. I think as soon as he gets past the first and second bend, that'll be fine. If he gets through the first and second bend of the first heat, he will be on, on it. it. It's that first race, the first heat, first and second bend is the most crucial and once he's got that one under his belt, he'll be fine in the others. But I think it will open their eyes to actually what a speedway rider goes through. The, the physical pain, the injuries, after, even after they've retired, those scars and those injuries will stay with them. But these guys get on a bike for very little money compared to most motorsports. Put their lives on the line, no brakes, to entertain the crowd. And to me, it just says volumes about them.
don't I can't remember any of it really, but um, I'm just glad it's over. Uh, just to get the four laps out of the way, it's, um, it's a huge monkey off my back. Yeah, and then I felt okay, a bit rigid in the first couple of laps, but in the last couple of laps I started to really in. So, you know, uh, a couple more to go and um, just enjoy the rest of the night. Even, you know, second, I don't get it. Uh, it was just so nice to be back doing doing that. It's, um, it's hard to hard to describe. But I'm just I'm I'm satisfied. You know, I'm back mixing it with the boys and you know bring on the whole year. Just not a feeling like it. Uh, that that one I was more emotional. That one, you know, just to know you can uh, still make a good good first hard first corner and um, you know and win a race. It's if only you could see what was going on in this head. It's uh, pretty sur pretty surreal. I'm just so couldn't be happy with the start. To be honest, it's um, more than I was expecting. So two more to go though. We'll see how, we'll see how it turns out. Um, looking back ten months ago. To be doing this now, um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing what I love. It's as simple as that. That's all I wanted. Like, I think I did say if we could get one race win, well, we've got one race win. Um, and then just to do it in the like, especially in the first race, we, we were competitive. We were right all over a world-class rider, all over his backside, and um, and in that one, I was making a few mistakes. But I think that was just a bit of overexcitement being in front for the first time. And um, yeah, but uh, like I said, just more than I was expecting, and um, it was a lot to take in. And um, yeah, back riding my bike. What, what more can I say?
back. Obviously, you've been making this documentary for Rory. Just tell us what it means to be sat here with him after seeing what he's been through, the comeback, and seeing the first win, and just talk through that. This man right here is actually my new hero. <laughs> he's making this film has been an, it's been um, unreal. Such an inspirational story and the determination that Rory's uh, shown and the work that he's put in to get back to riding and now to be here tonight to see him do his first race and get his first race win back after his, after his time off is just amazing and we couldn't have hoped for a better uh, conclusion to our story. Couldn't ride it, could you? No. <laughs> Even if I tried. I fancy myself quite a good rider, so. <laughs> still, still not afraid to go to speed uh, Never in a million years. The office still there? No. You're right, <laughs> I'll leave it to you. <laughs> no worries. Thank you, mate. Thank you again, boys. I really appreciate it. Well, yeah, here we are. It's been uh, been a few months in the planning to get this uh, get this video sorted, but um, yeah, just last night we've obviously one of my mates has uh, got seriously injured, so it's made a difficult last 24 hours, especially with the um, accident I had yeah, three months ago to the to the day. Um, yeah, it's uh, tough times, but that's um, how serious and dangerous our sport can be. Both the accidents were uh, similar going in, going into the fence at a, at a high speed, and um, I was lucky. Well, I, I was supposed to go into the air fence, and unfortunately, the air fence lifted, and I went in flush on my back. Uh, similar with what happened to Darcy last night, where he didn't actually go in with the air fence, but he went in uh, head first. So, you know, these are the things we take take for granted, and you know, in split second. Uh, decisions and it it really hits home that, that anything could happen at any time and you know you know last night proves it and my accident proves it and it um, you think you're in control and and next minute you're not I didn't see it till this morning but you sent me a text at quarter 12 last night I'm sort of thinking in my mind that you were half tempted to cancel today um, Am I right, or I mean, you yeah. did perhaps the text as well? Yeah, reading the the updates and, and the information I was getting through through online, um, the more and more it sunk in, and the more and more I was having flashbacks and more or less reliving what I went through and realising that that I know what Darcy was going through, and I wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemy. That's how bad the pain is. I've never experienced anything like it and I think it was about 4.30 this morning I finally nodded off. I just couldn't sleep knowing that, you know, a buddy of mine's gone through exactly what I went through and it's it's hell, absolutely hell. Um, would never want to go through it again but uh, it just, it's so hard and gut-wrenching, you know, I've, I've almost mentally got got over what I went through and, and to have that sort of just more or less remind you um, and you know that was the whole all last night it was just reliving losing feeling in your legs going through that pain being told that after the operation you might not walk um, yeah it just doesn't doesn't feel right